Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. And we're continuing the, the Joseph story, and we're in Ch Genesis chapter 42. Hey, let me ask you this. How crazy is your family? Now, I hope that doesn't offend you, but I believe all families are crazy. I just want mine to be crazy in love with Jesus and crazy fun. Uh, now, I grew up in a family that was crazy religious. Now, it was about Jesus, but there was a lot more religion uh, involved in that. And we're crazy workaholics. I mean, my parents loved to work, and uh, they included us in that and their passion. Uh, the other thing crazy about my family is we moved a lot. I lived in 15 houses the first 18 years of my life. So, so every family is crazy. Today we're talking about Jacob's crazy family and how they react in crisis. Just to catch you up on the story, if you haven't been joining us, Joseph's brothers, years before, sold uh, Joseph into slavery. He went to Egypt. He was a slave there. Uh, got accused of sexual assault uh, that was, didn't happen. He went to prison. Uh, in prison, he got forgotten. Finally, he gets out, and he gets elevated to the status of second in charge of Egypt, prepares them for famine. Well, the famine affected Jacob's uh, family, and so the brothers, Jacob's brothers, uh, at least ten, uh, ten, ten older brothers, came to Egypt. They fulfilled the prophecy. They bowed down to, Jake, uh, to Joseph, but they didn't recognize him. Uh, so Joseph messes with them, which is a little bit dysfunctional. And uh, he, he accuses them of being spies and imprisons one of them, which ended up being Simeon, uh, keeps him there and sends the other brothers back uh, with food and with the instruction to bring their younger brother, Benjamin, who's Joseph's full brother, back with them. So that's kind of the story. The brothers go back to Jacob and they report all this and Jacob refuses to rescue Simeon. <laughs> In other words, he just flat out says, I love Benjamin more than I love Simeon. I'm not sending Benjamin uh, to him. Now, Benjamin's an adult at this point, uh, but he says, I'm still not sending him. Reuben tries to be noble and says, I'll take him and I'll bring him back. I'll promise you that. And if not, you can kill my two sons, which is noble, but dysfunctionally gruesome. Uh, and still Jacob refuses again. That's where the story pauses. There's a next chapter. We'll talk about that later. But here's a couple of thoughts. First of all, and we've mentioned this many times, I'll keep mentioning this. You will reap what you sow. The brothers uh, practiced deceit and dysfunction, selling their brother into slavery, and now they're caught up in the midst of that story. Uh, it may look like people are getting away with stuff, but you never get away with stuff with God. Okay, He's the one who's going to hold all of us accountable, and you will reap what you sow. And that's seen in the story. The other part of this is uh, just a question I want to ask you. What kind of crazy are you leading your family into? I mean, because all families are crazy, right? Uh, are are you leading your family to be crazy workaholics? Because I know what that feels like. Are, are you leading your family to be crazy about money and, and basically being greedy? Are you leading your family into, you know, being crazy about all the extracurricular activities for your kids, you know, whether that's sports or cheer or dance or, or just academics? Are you leading your family to be crazy, mean, angry, and vindictive? Because you're leading your family into crazy in some way. And I hope and pray that you will lead them to be crazy in love with Jesus and, and be crazy fun and be crazy serving and be crazy gracious because then God's going to be pouring out blessings on you like crazy. After all, all families are crazy. Why don't you be crazy for Jesus? God bless, and I hope you have a great and somewhat crazy day.